This is Fedora 24 Workstation XFCE spin installed on an internal drive. I found it almost impossible to do a screencast with Fedora 24 and GNOME 320, so I decided to try XFCE and record my desktop, which is available in both, worked perfectly with XFCE. So this is the result. This is Fedora 24 XFCE spin. I've already tweaked it the way I like it. And uh, if you want to see how that's done, you can look at my video on tweaking Zubuntu. There's really no difference between the XFCE desktops in Fedora and uh, Zubuntu. Another thing I've done is install Fetty, which allows me to get software that isn't in the Fedora repositories. As you can see, I've already installed Adobe Flash, an encrypted DVD playback. In addition to what you see in the Fetty menu here. Fetty also installs the RPM Fusion repositories so you can have access to them using Yumex. The XFCE version of Fedora 24 comes with Yumex already installed and it does not use the GNOME software application. I'm not going to update now. This is Firefox. Here's the news of the day. This is the lightweight Abbey word that comes with the XFCE version of Fedora. In Zubuntu, with this 16.04 release, uh, Zubuntu has LibreOffice in it. It used to just have Abbey word. And this is Gene Americ. These are serviceable applications, but I prefer standardization where possible. And since LibreOffice is available, I don't see any point in not having it. Uh, so I usually get rid of Abbey Word and GNumeric, and I install LibreOffice, which is quite easy to do. Opening Yum Extender again. I'm going to search for LibreOffice.
and you can see it's easily available. I'm not going to install it now though. I'm going to type in the word T-O-P, top, as you can see, out of about four gigabytes of RAM, about uh, 285 megabytes is used. About a gigabyte is in uh, buffers and caches, and uh, about 2.6 gigabytes is free. None of the four gigabytes of swap is used. And that's, of course, with Record My Desktop running. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.